Let's go. Hello, this is your lab boy today, and this is Thursday, the 15th day of June 2023. So, we are exactly in the mid month of June right now, and we want to learn about taming the tongue. We'll be reading, we've been reading from the epistle of James, and now we'll be reading the third chapter so that we can get some points put together about taming the tongue are you set let's go very quickly let not many of you become teachers my brethren for you know that we who teach shall be judged with great strictness for we all make many mistakes if anyone makes no mistakes in what he says He's a perfect man, able to bridle the whole body. If we put bits into the mouths of horses that they may obey us, we guide their whole bodies. Look at the sheep also. Though they are so great and are driven by strong winds, they are guided by a very small rudder wherever the will of the pilot directs. So, the tongue is a little member and boasts of great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by a small fire, and the tongue is a fire. The tongue is an unrighteous world among our members, staining the whole body, setting on fire the cycle of nature, and set on fire by hell. For every kind of beast and bird of reptile and sea creature can be tamed and has been tamed by humankind. But no human being can tame the tongue, a restless evil full of deadly poison. With it we bless the Lord and Father, and with it we cause men who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brethren, this ought not to be so. Does a spring pour forth from the same opening fresh water and brackish? Can a fig tree, my brethren, yield olives or a grapevine figs? No more can salt water yield fresh. Who is wise and understanding among you? By his good life let him show his works in the meekness of wisdom. But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. This wisdom is not such as comes down from above, but is utterly unspiritual, devilish. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there will be disorder and every vile practice. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy, and good fruits without uncertainty of insincerity. And the harvest of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You need to be able to tame your tongue. 
I used to remember somebody that um, I was quite close to as an undergraduate and you know whenever she was annoyed and she wanted to trick tackles with her tongue she will say in the Yoruba language that she is that person she'll be healing herself that she's that person who could tongue lash anybody as if she was licking honey and that she was one that would trade tackles with her tongue you know without making any losses let me say it exactly she will say she said and then i used to wonder why would somebody be like this well she often got into trouble because she didn't bridle her tongue and i learned a lot of lessons from that and as I'm preaching to you, I'm also preaching to myself that sometimes I need to bridle my tongue. I need to tame my tongue. So learn to tame your tongue. Let the Holy Spirit guide you when to speak, what to speak. Is that even not what we were told the Holy Spirit would do for us when Jesus was going in the gospel according to St. John? He said it, that the comforter is coming. He will teach you what you will say at every point of your encounters so let the holy spirit um, guide your tongue let the holy spirit tame your tongue submit yourself completely to the rulership of the holy spirit and taming the tongue will just be part of your everyday life well that message is for those that are in christ are you in christ already but of course you can also learn to tame your tongue if you are not yet in Christ, but it's best for you to give your life to Christ right now. Are you set for that experience? Just say this prayer. Say, Lord, I come to you right now. I have been a sinner. Particularly, I have sinned with my tongue several times. Now I want to tame my tongue. But first, I want to give my life to you. Forgive me of all the sins of the past. I accept you as Lord and Savior. And I pray that you accept me as one of yours too from today. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Did you just say that prayer? Welcome to the fold of faith. You need to find a Bible-believing church where you can learn the more about taming the tongue. And I always recommend that you join us where I am priest in charge in the Anglican Church, Oroki Estate Extension. Oyikon and Gokyomibodun Drive, Oroki Estate Extension, Oshobo. You can join us every Tuesday for our midweek services, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, or on Sundays, 9 o'clock in the morning, for our Sunday morning services. And as you go home today, or lest I forget before you go, look at the bank account details on your screen. Please drop something there together so that we can build a pivoting physical space where we can serve the Lord together. Now say this prayer as you go home today. Say, Spirit Divine. Anoint my tongue that I may speak words that will glorify your holy name from today. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So, go out today. Go about taming the tongue. And it will be well with you. God bless you. you